The name Lindell is either Norse, meaning valley of lime trees, or Celtic, meaning village around a deep pond. Lindell was recorded as a Granger Furnace Abbey in 1220, and it was known that iron ore mining took place at the time in the Lindell Moor area. Green in Lindell was originally a tarn, but was filled in by mine and quarry spoil in 1887. Lindell Railway Incident, Thursday the 22nd of September 1892. The 7am Barrow to Carnforth Cuts Local, number 115 AD1-0-6-0, built by Sharp Stewarts between 1855 and 1866. Nicknamed the Sharpie, was shunting it at the railway sidings when the driver, Thomas Postlethwaite, saw a crack appearing in the ground opening below. He knocked off the steam and jumped for his life as the ground opened, exposing the sheer sided hole 30 feet across and 30 feet deep. The driver and fireman stared in disbelief as the funnel and front part of the local disappeared into the hole, with only the tender remaining and visible above ground. The rails on which the engine was travelling snapped and sunk into the hole. The low court was uncoupled and later in the day the hole opened further and then collapsed covering the low court. Mine workings on two levels laid beneath the lines and it is also believed a natural cavern may have contributed to the cause of the collapse. Furnace Abbey was dissolved in 1537 and its lands were annexed by the Duchy of Lancaster by Act of Parliament in 1540. Royalties for iron ore of Lindell Moor were owned by the Duke of Buccleuch, Lord Muncaster and the Earl of Derby. Henning Valley Cave Henning Valley Cave is a natural cavern next to a disused limestone quarry with a length of over 700 feet. Mines were identified by numbers and letters, such as B33, or sometimes given names, either at the time or later by cave explorers. Henningwood Pot Henningwood Pot is a mine working with natural passages. It joins Pickshaft's Cave, another mine working which is in the Henningwood. In the 1830s and 40s, a large number of miners from Cornwall moved to the Lindell area. The iron ore in the area was hematite, and known to be very good quality, 50 to 60% iron. Pylon Pot Pylon Pot was an old mine working. The entrance was caused by the collapse of the ground above the mine. It has an underground lake and was believed to be part of the Parrock Pit. Daylight Hall. Daylight Hall is an old mine working. It was mined by the Pennington Mining Company and the Harrison Ainsley Company and was abandoned in 1911. 11 million gallons of water a day were pumped out of the mines and the cost caused the closure of many of the mines in 1914. Poor reserves also made this uneconomical. Roof Pot. Roof Pot is an air shaft which enters the main chamber of Daylight Hall. In the 1800s, ironworks began to appear in the Ulverston and Barrow areas, and shipping ports in the area allowed the export of iron. Following the First World War, the iron industry went into rapid decline. Cheaper imports caused mining companies to go out of business. The last mine in the Lindell Moor area was the Margaret Mine in the Hedden Valley, which closed in 1960.